Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. We have the baby daddy right here. What's good? <laughs> so we are finally doing the old wives tells you guys. I basically wrote everything down and I'm so excited to do this video because our gender reveal is in about a week and a half. It is mm -hmm. August 14th. There's a little confusion going on. Some people think we know the gender already. We don't. The gender reveal got postponed. And we're so excited. So we're like, we have to do the old wives tales. I wrote everything down and we basically put down like the, I guess the most interesting, more, most common ones. I'm super, super excited. Oh my God, babe, let's show our ices. Okay, so Whoa, I was craving. Um, and then you're a slurpee. Away. I feel like this is kind of a craving of mine right now. A little bit, but I feel mainly it's ice cream that you've been like Oof, girl. craving. Um, but we got a slippery. I got a, a blue one. <clears throat> and, and I got a pink one, but y'all can barely see it. Let us know what team you are, team boy or girl, in the comments down below. I'm seeing a lot of team boy, but after today, it might just change y'all. I'm just saying, you never know. This is all fun and games. It's just for fun, guys. Nothing to take serious. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So pretty much for morning sickness, it's you don't get it, it's a boy, and you do get it, it's a girl. That's yeah. why we put like blue and pink. But obviously I did want Brian here with me, the baby daddy of course, because he volunteered to um, give me this baby. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> you went on like no. or something? What I'm saying is like no, I know what you mean, but it was hilarious. We're both pregnant together in this, so he gotta be part of this. So morning sickness. <laughs> what do you think? What? Absolutely. Morning sickness, I had that like my first trimester. Uh, well, this is funny because we've talked about it even on the vlog or other videos, even on my channel I talked about it. But Myra had morning sickness, and I even got a little bit of morning sickness. I think it happened like twice. But it wasn't even like in the morning? Around like- noonish to like more like nighttime, instead of morning. Morning sickness. But they just call it morning sickness, but it's just being nauseous and- That's a boy. But that, that's crazy, I didn't know that. I know, I was like writing these, I was like, oh my God, that's so, there's a good mix. Mm -hmm. But definitely had morning sickness. You did. Not cute. Mm -hmm. I had it up till I think I was about 14 weeks, 15. Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. So <laughs> the heartbeat, if it is below 140, mm -hmm. that means that it is a boy, and if it is above 140, it is a girl. The first times, babe, they were over 140, like for they sure. Were. Yeah. Do you remember, like, how much? It was 158. And it was 148. Oh, 148. Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Remember the last one? No, like because it was 148 and then 145. Because we've gone to get yeah. ultrasound like four times. Five it's times. always been above 140. Mm -hmm. But the last one, but I the was last like. Last one, yeah, it was 138. I actually kind of. But if we're talking about like what's been more of the heart rate, it's been mainly well, above. Well, recently. So you're. <laughs> <laughs> Am I That's why I'm saying right if now? it's below 140, if it's ever been below 140. Okay, and it's so, ever been be above 140. <laughs> okay, you know that, what? <laughs> that's been several times it's been above 140, no, and then once, 138, which is really close to no, 140. No, I was like, oh my god, because at first when, because when, I really believe in the heart rate thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> but I remember the first time they told me that the heart rate was above, when they told me it was like 140 something, I was like, oh. <gasps> I remember thinking like it's a girl. And then the past the past time they told me it was 138, I was like, oh my god. And it's a boy. We had one you Under. guys can vote on the, the bottom. We're 140. Up, it, or above 140. So yeah. I would just put boy because if it was like a girl, why would it be under? Huh? Never mind. I'll let you circle this. No, one. It was above. I know, but I'm talking about the last time. Okay, you know what? But am I girl by that's what I'm saying? Do you get me? Like, if we're talking about a ratio of like more I above know, like, or more under, it was only once it was 138. Mm. And the other one's 145, 148. Mm. Craving, salty or sweet. Oof, I'm gonna have to go with sweet on this one, girl. Yeah. I was craving Little candies. Watermelon. No, yep. I was craving a lot of fruit. Watermelon, yeah. like crazy. Yeah. I literally, if I could eat an entire watermelon, I would. Not that I did, but I mean, I would have been very close to it, honestly. And I think right now, like even like the ice cream, the syrupies, and sweets. I've always been a sour girl. And I do like, I still mm. like my pika pika and all. Like I like all that sour stuff. Yeah. But but you, know, you haven't had craved... anything as like salty. Yeah, sweets for sure. I've never oh. craved. Sweets like this, guys, like ever. All right, so <laughs> mom's mood. I want you to be honest with this one. Like, don't lie. Am I happy or moody? 
Don't lie because you know I've been. No, she's been really happy. I think I was more moody before I was pregnant for sure. I don't know. I'm just like in a, always a really good mood. I will come at you sideways, like randomly. I'll catch you off guard, but it's like rare. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. Like there is going to be like those points where you're just like flame just goes off. But for the most part, you're actually really happy. So headaches or no headache? You, uh, you have been I had getting headaches. Mad headaches. They stopped a few weeks ago. Every single night, huh? Like I just mm -hmm. knew I was. I would even ask them, and they suggested like soda. In the middle of like the night, I went to McDonald's. like McDonald's at 2 a.m. for a, a coke. And mm -hmm. even then, I wouldn't finish the soda because I was like, oh my god, I shouldn't even be like doing mm -hmm. this. I have a whole large Slurpee in front of me. Like <laughs> why? <laughs> no, but <laughs> gotta love them sweets. No, no but I, I really try to avoid soda. But it is something that a lot of people said that would work. Mm -hmm. I took Tylenol maybe twice, but my head like would almost have to be exploding for me to take Tylenol. It was so bad. But headaches were for sure a, a big ol' yes. Thank God it's been a couple weeks that I have not felt a headache. Yes, I got my um, blood pressure checked. Everything was completely fine. It was yeah. honestly just like part of the hormones. Sleeping side. Left or right? Okay, I'm gonna Honestly, let him answer that because I feel like I fall asleep on my left side because they say that it's the healthiest when you're pregnant. But Brian obviously will see me when I'm like when he wakes up. You'd have to circle both because it's not. Okay, one that. we gonna do that. We gotta choose just one, babe. You can't. Like you literally, she does sleep on both. Like I've had and love sometimes movie. she'll sleep like. Flat and I'll be like, babe, you have to lean okay, on the side. Okay, so you're not supposed to sleep on your back because mm -hmm. the weight of the baby can block a certain artery and it will not supply enough blood to the baby and it's like very dangerous. I don't notice sometimes at night, like I won't fully, like I, my brain still knows not to. So I'll kind of be sideways, but I'm still on my back. Does that make any sense, right? Yeah, I'm like, like twisted. Well, but that's why. Like your body is like sideways, but then your top torso is like but I fall asleep on my left. I'm sure I wake up on many different. I, I don't think we could circle both, babe. Just choose one. Like when I sleep to the right, that means I'm facing you. Am I facing you or am I not facing you? Sometimes yes. More often. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I cut the camera. All right. So we're gonna do one final decision: left or right. I guess left because you'll try to go on that side. Oh my god, left is a boy. We're gonna skip to the Chinese calendar one. But we'll really be back quick. to it. Because my other phone's dead. It's literally my old phone, but that's where I kind of wrote down the day I was ovulating. But once you actually track on your flow app, it immediately just kind of erases everything else. So I really don't know. So I have to look back. My phone's gonna turn on any minute. Give us a second. We'll skip that one for now. All right, so the next one is the mom's skin. So whether I am dry, dry or, or... Dry or soft? Dry or soft. Oh yeah, like dry skin or soft skin. Don't you mean like oily? Yeah, I don't know why. I actually searched it and it was saying like just like soft. And my skin, I have not been dry. I've been oily and I think I've been soft. Like I don't feel dry at all. So soft. So that would be girl. Oh, there it is. It's weird because Karina was really, really dry. Like she had hella dry skin and she had a girl. So that just obviously comes to show that, I mean, it, could, <laughs> it doesn't obviously. But this is just you know as a prediction. Next one is. Facial com Complexion glowing. Wait, what the? Yeah, so this one's different. Like, am I glowing or am I breaking out? Everybody is telling me because you know these filters on Instagram be making me look like I'm glowing. I'm done. <laughs> no, but um, if I'm gonna be honest, the filter I... literally called glowing. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wow, girl. Like, y'all know the filters on IG be catfishing like no other. But I am gonna be honest. I don't think I've been breaking out as much. I do break out here and there, but I don't feel like it's extreme. I actually sometimes even feel like my actual skin is literally glowing, where it looks so soft. In the middle of the night, we don't need a, need a lamp on. She's just like. <laughs> <laughs> we love. We love. What is it? Glow in the dark. <laughs> I'm done. You're all glowing like, green like uh, Girl, when I say my face is the moon, I ain't kidding. I just picture like my big ass face just glowing at night. That's scary. That'll be, <laughs> that's yeah. actually, that sounds very terrifying. Okay, so facial complexion. She's glowing, girlies. So the next one is the belly shape, whether it is round or, round wide. or wide. Or it could be like when you're carrying low or high. Because I feel like they say that when you have a boy, you're carrying like you're carrying lower and your belly's pointier. And when it's a girl, you're carrying higher and your belly's rounder. I want to stand up for this. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I'm like pointy or 
like low belly. I well, think that's I'm fine. Like if you're, if you're like low because you're not like building up on the side, you get me? And people say like they actually get white. So it's no, not yeah. white. It's I'll like, show them the whiteness the right now in the front. Or? From the side, they say that if it's like lower, it's a boy. And if it's like higher, it's a girl. I feel like I'm carrying high. What do you think, babe? Am I carrying high? Or am I carrying low? I don't know. I'll let you guys also tell me in the comments. By the way, these are from Gia Monet. They're like very stretchy biker shorts. So you think I'm carrying low or high, babe? I feel like I sometimes know. I'm carrying high. I it does not look it low like to me. Mid, I, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's high or low, but I was like, well, it just looks like the middle to me. So. I feel like I'm carrying. But the only thing to me is like how I said, from the side, you're not like. Ancha? Yeah. It's hard to tell, but my stomach, like there's not much going on here. Does that make sense? It's kind of just right here. But because I am wearing black, it's hard. Yeah. I guess we'll go yeah. with like it being rounder than wide, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do round. So the next one is daddy's weight. I For me, I, I feel like I've been staying, staying the same. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's like little fluctuation, but nothing where I'm like, oh my god, I've gained like 10, 15 pounds. Or yeah, you're the same. Okay, so the ring test, you guys. This one I'm excited about because this is another one that can be really spot on. I mean, spot from what on. I think. So the <laughs> ring test, you use a strand of your hair with your wedding ring, and you put it over put the it belly. Over the belly. If it goes if like it goes straight, circles. if it goes in straight, like a line, it's a boy. It's a boy. And if it goes in a circle, it's a girl. <sighs> I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so. What is this supposed to do though? It's supposed to go in circles or go back and forth. What if it's just staying still? <sighs> I don't know what that means. No, I feel like. Uh... It's too heavy. Let me try my band. Go for it. All right, go. I think you should probably try to move it. Bruh, then I'm like, it's not moving. Okay, just do this. There you go. How is that? Well, yeah, like it's not oh my God. You have to like, obviously at first like go like that and then let it move. But something in motion stays in motion. So like, okay. All right, let's like, do this again. Go off. Is that circles? It looked like it was going in circles and Oh my god, that is a circle. Middle. That is a circle. No, but look, now it's doing this. You see? We were really struggling with that one. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> Could it be because it was my weave and not my real hair? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm done. Ring test, circle, that is oh my a girl. god. It was picking up the gender of the, that person's head. <gasps> <laughs> The next one is foot size. Has my foot size stayed the same or gotten bigger? Mm, you know what? I don't know because my feet do swell and the last time I got boots, That's I was true. a nine and a half. <sighs> that makes such a hard one, babe, because I don't know. My shoes fit fine. It was a boots at the boots for me. That I was like, yeah, but know. hours after my foot girl like grew like an inch. I think it was a boot, but I think swelling can mean that my foot is growing. Or just you zapateando. My feet just that swell. one time, it was just like, mm. it's hard because my feet fit just my feet. <laughs> <laughs> my shoes fit just fine. It was just the boots, so that's hard. I don't know if that has to do. Well, anything that's what because I feel like you've been wearing every other shoe and you're fine. You're not like, oh my god, I need to yeah. buy some pregnancy shoes because these are hurting or so same. Okay, same. That is, girl, ooh, let me find out. Looks like we're pretty even. Okay, so let's bring out the, the phone so I can do this Chinese calendar one. Because oh, right. I'm excited about that one. Oh my God, my old app tells me I'm, 100, I'm 120 days late. <laughs> I really want you guys to see this. It's literally telling me I'm 120 days late. Oh my God, so this one I didn't update it. But I'm what does it say? Start my we're going back to this one, the Chinese calendar one. Um, when did you conceive? What does that mean? Like, it's just asking me the month and I'm over here like, Oh, are you serious? I'm over here charging my phone for what? Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Your due date. Oh, why is this one different from? Um, your birthday, February 8th, 1994. Let's see the prediction. Dun, da, da, dun. It's a boy. Oh boy. <gasps> oh my God, it says boy. Boom. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a gender reveal. We're having a boy. Imagine. Okay. So the other one is the spoon or fork one. This what one do is you actually. Eat most with? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no, that's not. No. <laughs> so this one, Ryan, I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to look. Ryan's going to put two pillows on the couch. And in one pillow, you're going to put a fork. And the other one, you're going to put a spoon. I've seen people be right with this one. It's scary. Yeah, so wait, I think wait, I wait. was watching Beauty Bird and gonna... Let's Do Makeup. And theirs was like spot on. So fork. Okay is boy and spoon is girl and whichever one I sit on. This one I'm actually scared about, like for real. This one I think people will be accurate with. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Sits in the middle, right? <laughs> the Have middle twins, is imagine. Right, so I would not do the middle. I think I'm gonna sit right here. <sighs> I'm scared. What did I sit on? Well, get up. <laughs> I was like, how am I supposed to? Oh my god! What? what? What spoon? I forgot. I think that's girl. Stop playing. Oh my god. <laughs> so was it a spoon? Okay, so that was a spoon. Oh my god, that's insane. Uh, that one's tricky. What? Myra's calendar. Hmm? It says Myra's calendar. It's a Mayan Oh, calendar. Mayan calendar. What? There's what? another calendar. <laughs> oh god. How does it work? Age of mother at time of concession. Oh, I think that's the one I did earlier. So I am 27 years old. <laughs> And in March, that is a girl. So the girl? Mayan calendar says girl. Bruh, these calendars. All right, we have a few left. So the next one is the, like how I am balanced. Am I clumsy or am I graceful? I'll let you answer this one. Clumsy. Clumsy. Am I really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Like you'll be doing little things and instantly like, I don't know. Drop stuff or tip really? over stuff. And I'm like, well, babe, like watch out because you're pregnant and I'm like scared you're gonna fall or something. Baby temperature, hot or cold? That's a hard Body one. Body temperature. Am I mm -hmm. hot or cold? I don't know because I was gonna say, you know what? You're like hot, but it is like summer and it's like in the high 90s. Mm -hmm. But then you'll randomly get these like, I'm freezing. Oh my I'm just god. Like, so I actually randomly. Like it scares me. It scares me too. I'll literally be shaking, like trembling mm -hmm. if the AC is on. But it's like not, it won't even be cold. But I, if I feel like I get cold, I will uncontrollably shake where I like literally, I'm like trying to calm myself down. Yeah. But then I also feel like I get hot. Well, that's what I'm saying. I the feel cold hot out is more bit. because like it's freaking oh, like 100 degrees. Uh, you've been like actually to the point where sometimes you're like, Trend I'm like, oh my, it's scary and like yeah, we're gonna go, go with cold because mm -hmm. it freaks me out Sometimes how much I'm shivering. Yeah, so we'll do boy. I mean cold <laughs> I mean, I didn't even know what oh, I totally crossed that off So the last one is mother and father's intuition my intuition you guys from the very beginning has been boy, boy. Before everybody started telling me because literally like I want to say 90% of my followers think it's a boy But before I even announced it or anything. I feel boy from the beginning. I'm gonna say boy I am very realistic that it could be completely wrong because there is mothers that are so sure and I'm like, girl, you might just have the opposite. I feel like it's a boy, but it could be any. Just putting that out there. Dad's in I think girl. In the very beginning, I was just like, oh, it's gonna be a boy. Like I, I felt like a lot of boy vibes or whatever. And then one thing changed my mind real quick. I had a dream of me seeing the gender uh, envelope and Raul had the exact same dream and he saw a girl and in my dream I saw a girl and ever since then I was just like it's it's gonna be a girl. All so, right yeah. guys Well, let's count her up B and then just over here like G, G. So let's count the girls and boys. So boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven boys. And then girl, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn. Let me know in the comments, like I said, you by guys. Three. By three. I thought it was gonna be like even because I feel like I was gonna. But you know what? Girl. That's still pretty close. It is. Let us know in the comments what you guys think it is. Of course, we will not find out till August 14th. This mm -hmm. was so much fun. I've always dreamed of doing this video, like even before I was pregnant. Oh. I just thought this video was such goals, and I'm like, I have to do it. My cousin Lupita already actually has the envelopes. I'm saying envelopes because I got checked twice just mm -hmm. to make sure. And she actually texted me the other day that yeah. they both match up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so much fun. Fun. Until then, I guess we shall guess. Mm -hmm. Bye. Deuces.